an angel is born. Ruby was panting and running deep inside the forest. One hand was holding her pregnant belly. Behind her, thousands of rats were swarming alongside a fog chasing Ruby. Ruby tripped over a branch and fell down to the ground. Thousands and thousands of rats were charging in. Their eyes reddened. They terrifyingly bared their teeth, threatening Ruby's life. The white fog came together. A rider in white shining armor with his bow on his back rode through the fog. He was mounted on a pale horse. He was the Silver Horseman who brings death to humanity by diseases and plagues. He caused the Black Death to wipe out millions on Earth. The horse made it. It jumped up and was about to step on Ruby, who had just fallen to the ground. Ruby held the Holy Cross in front of her while filled with fear. The horse reared. It struggled and fell down. The white rider was flung away from his horse. The swarm of rats quickly moved up, tightening the perimeter around Ruby. Ruby's belly suddenly contracted. She leaned on a tree nearby and screamed. Her water broke. Her left hand held the holy cross tighter and tighter. The cross was that man's gift for Ruby. The Holy Cross had tremendous power. It was the only thing that could save her from the White Rider and his pet rats. The baby's cry echoed around the forest. She was born in her mother's arms. Ruby painfully grunted. She tried to rub her eyes to see her child clearer. On her child's forehead, a silver birthmark shone lightly. That was the sign of power. Ruby could finally breathe a sigh of relief. Her strength had weakened. The white rider stood up, drew his bow, pointing at Ruby. His voice sounded like thunder rumbling through the sky. Follow me or die. Ruby screamed with all of her strength. No! You will all pay! His arrow flew directly out of the bow at Ruby. The rats around her perked up, waiting for a feast. The arrow pierced into the ground. The white rider and Ruby looked at it in surprise. A man with black boots, holding a silver torch in his hand, with a long beard, had just thrown out his bracelet in order to save Ruby from the deadly arrow. The White Rider raised his hand. Fog rushed from behind him, charging toward the man. The swarm of rats were squeaking, attacking with the fog. The mysterious man was named Leon. He was just passing by and sensed the evil essence from afar. Leon closed his eyes, mumbling some sort of spell. From his sleeve, he tossed out a handful of salt. Every time a speck of salt touched a rat, it would immediately explode into dust. Seeing what the salt could do to their comrades, the rat squeaked loudly and turned back, running away in chaos. The white rider drew his bow again, shooting another arrow at Leon. Moving like the wind, Leon swung himself up the trees, dodging the arrow and the rats trying to surround him. The silver torch in Leon's hand blazed wildly. The fire sprayed out and burned a corner of the rider's cape. He lost his temper, drew three arrows and fired them at Leon. Leon crouched, dodging two of the arrows, but the last one hit him in the arm. Being injured, he threw the torch at the rider. The torch swirled around. Spears of flame blazed towards the rider. He kicked in the air, flying over the flames, avoiding the deadly hit. His left leg was hit while he was in the air, 
The armor was wrenched off, exposing a burning flesh just by the swift impact. Seeing he wouldn't be able to defeat Leon in his current state, the White Rider roared. Ruby, come with me. Right then, he flew towards her. The white fog crept up Ruby's leg while she was distracted. She had put the Holy Cross down and was holding her baby in her arms instead. The rider controlled the fog, pulling her leg towards him. Ruby fearfully put the cross into her baby's arm, yelling, Please, take care of my child. Her name is Gemma. The White Rider and Ruby disappeared into the white fog, retreating out of the forest. Leon tried to keep pressure on his wounded arm. He couldn't chase down the rider in this condition. Leon strode to the baby, picking her up. The Holy Cross had fused with her skin upon contact, becoming a part of her. The Holy Cross appeared as a scar on her left palm. From now on, every time there was evil essence near her, she would sense it. Leon took her home and raised her like his own child. When Gemma grew up, she became a beautiful woman with blue eyes and blonde hair. On her forehead, the silver birthmark shining with a halo was still there and whenever she saw any type of evil, the Holy Cross would appear on her palm to protect her. Gemma had several special powers. She was incredibly strong and had the ability to see evil. The birthmark on her forehead was a third eye which could see through evil even if they were hiding by special means. Leon occasionally let her follow him on his journeys, and when she went, the Holy Cross on her hand transformed into a sword of light filled with holy power. Gemma was always wondering who Leon was, but whenever she asked, he told her he's just a normal person with a few tricks up his sleeve. No one truly knew who he was. When Gemma turned 18, Leon told her the truth about what happened the night her mother was taken away. Gemma wanted to find her mom and bring her back. Of course, Leon accepted. Leon even gave her a relic, a necklace that can prevent demons from interfering, hoping it would bring her luck. Leon said to Gemma she had a great destiny to fulfill. She needed to follow the path of righteousness. Gemma said farewell to Leon and set out on her journey to find her mother and her destiny. Subscribe now to my novels to enjoy a journey of the best mystical, magical, and mysterious stories.